Hello and welcome back to Adventure All The Way. I'm Emma and I'm a home educating mum of three from the UK. And today's video is all about a class that Charles took a couple of weeks ago with Zoom writers from the Creative Writing Club. Robin Price contacted me and said, hey, I'd really like to um, offer you this class so you can tell me what you think of it and you can tell others what you think of it. And we jumped at the class, jumped at the chance. We'd seen them advertised in a, um, a group on Facebook and I kept meaning to um, you know reach out and and try a class for Charles but he really struggled with the idea of being in a group and Robin said hey I can do one-to-one -one classes uh, so that's what we did and Charles had an amazing time and he really wanted me to share this with you and um, we're really really grateful that Robin from Zoom Writers reached out to us to have a collaboration and we can't wait to show you all the wonderful things. The best thing about this is that the end of the video you will get a discount code so you can get some money off from trying out the class for yourself so watch all the way to the end you will get the code and you'll also get a bit of a, a bit of a taster of what those classes are like and you can see if one-to-one -one or um or the group classes are right for your child. I've left Robin's website and his contact information in the description and you can contact him and he'll answer any questions you have. Let's get into the video and you can watch Charles having a great time writing a story all about his favourite cuddly toy, Dino the donkey. We, um, we go over it towards the end and we do some changes and sort of spelling out and and put some different words in there. That's great. Hey, you're a good typer, aren't you, there, with the typing there, Charles? Got an S in there, too. So sometimes it takes a while to do these, uh, uh, to get your typing going. Right, so here we are, ready to go for the story, and you want to donkey in it, which is great. I'm going to just share my screen. And this is a little story maker that I made. Uh, so we, we know that the characters are, the heroes, is the hero going to be a donkey? Wait, can I show you something? Is your donkey going to be a goodie or a baddie? Uh, a goodie. A goodie, good. fantastic. So I'm just going to go like uh, the characters. And um, can it be named Dino? Dino the donkey, that is brilliant. Yes, because I have a donkey called Dino. With a teddy. Can you write that down under where I said the character? Fantastic, that's so cool, Charles. Okay, right, so basically, next thing we need to do, we've got to choose where's the story going to happen. And we've got some different locations for you. Got the castle, the forest, the palace, the ship, a dragon cave, a tree, or in a school. So where would you like? A dragon cave. A dragon cave. Fantastic. <laughs> Not so, surprised. <laughs> uh, so I'm just going to write down dragon cave. Uh, and would you like to choose another one as well? Uh, a forest. Uh, like, the, the like cave. Dino's in a forest, and then he finds a dragon cave. That's yeah. great. And, uh, and yep. uh, Charles, can you write down forest under uh, under where well, I put dragon cave? Just write down forest under there. The, the setting. Can I say the location? Is it or something? Um, uh, where is it? Set? Where? Sound it out. The, You're all right. Uh, yeah. Or? Yeah. That's brilliant. Uh, well done. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. Forest. Est. Air. Uh, uh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've written it under the vocab builder there, you can see that's it. Fantastic. What? Can you see the vocab? Uh, so, um, right, so we've got Dino the donkey, so and see here it's having the dragon cave in the forest. He's going to write spellings there to you, so you can copy now, it. What, what, we need another character for the story, Charles. Are you listening ready? So yeah. we've got uh, Ben. We have a dragon, or we can have a unicorn, or an ogre. I, I know, I know, I know. It needs to be a dragon, because if Dino goes into a dragon cave, he needs to fight a dragon. Brilliant, fantastic. And um, so the other character is a dragon. Uh, and, um, and Charles, is it going to be a red dragon or a green dragon? Uh, a red one. A red dragon, that's yeah. brilliant. Because then, because that, that means it can breathe fire. Lovely. Um, I'll tell you what, for the story, Charles, are you listening ready? So yeah. we've got... Uh, we have a dragon, or we can have a unicorn, or an ogre. I, I know, I know, I know. It needs to be a dragon, because if Dino goes into a dragon cave, he needs to fight a dragon. Brilliant, fantastic. And um, so the other character 
character is a dragon, uh, and um, and Charles is it going to be a red dragon or a green dragon? Uh, a red one. A red dragon. That's yeah. brilliant. Because then, because that that means it can breathe fire. Lovely. Um, I'll tell you what. Uh, I can see your mouse moving around. Yeah, I know. I'm just, I'm just basically uh, gonna. Do Just need help with the spelling. Fantastic, that's so cool. Um, so I tell you what I'm just gonna do really quickly is um, is I'm just gonna try and uh, make sure we've got um, the story here as it happens. So basically, um, and we need another thing as well, so it's gonna be uh, gonna be the dragon there, uh, the red dragon and uh, and have we got a name for the red dragon. Dragator. Was there a myth in there about the 
about the about uh, the Hydra or something like that. Yeah, I like the Hydra. Yeah, that's it. So what's the so Hercules is battling the Hydra. Yeah. But what's the problem? But he gets when what happens when he chops uh, when he uh, when every time he chops the head off. So if this is the head, it goes this, and then suddenly it goes. And yeah, two heads grow two back. Heads. Yeah. Then, and then he uses like, fire to seal the necks. Yeah, that's it. So the linear, the linear Hydra. So he's got to basically whack its heads off. But luckily, he's got his nephew there. Yeah. Yoli, hasn't he? And what does his nephew do with the with the torch? He burns all of like the necks so they're all sealed, so absolutely, no one can grow absolutely. up. Absolutely, that's it. That's right. He burns. He scorches the necks, doesn't he? Yeah. And uh, so that's it. So basically, in the story of Cinderella, she can't go to the ball. The fairy helps out. In the Hydra, then Hercules has chopped the heads off. The heads grow back. And Hello everybody, so you've just seen the footage of Charles's first ever writing class with Zoom writers. This was a one-to-one -one session just so, well really, so we could, um, <laughs> so we could film it and not, there not be any issues with other children being on board. But also because Charles, um, as you know, being an autistic person does struggle sometimes with concentration, especially in new situations. Robin was really accommodating, and Charles has since was really accommodating to set up that in a set it up in a way that Charles could access it, which is really important for people who are on the spectrum who are not going to talk over their mummy. So Charles, did you want to tell our friends on YouTube what you thought about the Zoom writers uh, class you did? Yeah, Robin made it really easy for me to like understand what. Uh, I was doing. Oh, there you go. So he made it, he did he explain things to you? Yeah, he explained them really well in like a way that I understand. Because because being I autistic, can't see you. We can only see because uh, but sometimes when people explain stuff to me, I still don't get it because they explain it to me in a way that I don't know. Okay. But Robin explained it in a really good way that I knew. So and when if you didn't understand something, did he explain it to you in a different way? Yeah. So he made you feel like you were able to take part in the class? Yeah. Yeah? That's really cool. Are you looking forward to doing another class with him? Yeah. Yeah? Do you think you would want to join a class with other children too? Uh, or do you want... Know. You don't know yet. I like just me and Robin. You like to just being you and Robin? Yeah, so Robin was, I felt that he was really enthusiastic, which was really, really great for Charles because I know that when we do writing with Charles at home, if we're not feeling particularly enthusiastic, Charles struggles to be enthusiastic too, but he has some really, really great ideas and it was just really, really cool to just sit here in the background and watch Charles be able to get those ideas out of his head and onto the computer so he could write a story. Hello, and Charles, can I share the first part of your story with our friends? Would that be okay? Yeah, okay, are you ready? Okay, so I'm gonna add in this little overlay just here. Not on the cat's butt. <laughs> I'm gonna add a little picture in here. There you go. So you can read Charles's story too. And if you would like to find out the conclusion of the story after his next thing, then please give us a thumbs up or let us know in the comments and Charles, I'm sure, will come on and share his story with you. And you can see what Dino gets up to in the next episode. Dino! Dun, dun, dun. Thank you so Thank you so much to Robin at Zoom Writers for a great class and we can't wait to try another one and finish that story. Robin does classes for lots of different ages of children from six and up and he has a varying schedule for home educators all throughout the week so everyone is going to be able to get a slot. Um, they are £6.50 per session but if you're a friend of mine and you follow my channel, you're gonna get them for six pounds. So you're gonna get 50p off. And I think that is really, really good. They are well worth it. We were on the call for quite a while and it was well worth six pounds. I would have definitely, I would have, I would have paid more to be honest because of just how well he engaged Charles and kept him, um, kept him engaged, which I think is really, really important. So thank you so much to Robin for this opportunity yeah. to film with us and for the great writing class. Charles, can't wait to go again. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we will see you again soon. Say bye, Charles. Bye. Dino says definitely subscribe. Definitely subscribe. And definitely check out Zoom Writers, right? Yes. Okay. Bye. Hello, editing Emma here. Just a quick one because when we filmed this, I didn't have the code in front of me. So if you are booking a creative writing club class with Robin Price, <clears throat> be sure to use the code ADVENTURE and you will get 50p off your class.
uh, let me know if you use it i'm really excited to for charles to have another class and uh, let you know how his uh how his story goes enjoy <laughs>